Okay, today's topic is adaptation in animals. Now you must have observed a variety of animals around you. Just like the plants, animals also have adapted to their surroundings. Let me explain you with an example. If you see in the video, there's a picture of fish. How does the fish adjust to the aquatic mode of life? The reason is it has a tapering body. Means body is fat at the center, but it tapers at both the ends. Fishes also have scales throughout their body and they breathe through gills because they live in water. Ducks, they have webbed toes. If you see the toes, they are webbed, slippery, smooth skin. They can live on both water and land. So this is how the duck and the fish adjust. Now, adaptation in desert animals. Deserts are characterized by very less water. So there's hardly any water in the deserts. Desert animals have a thick skin so that there's very less loss of water from the body. Their legs are long with flat and cushioned soles. Their nose is protected by fold of skin. Their eyelashes are also long and thick so that the sand particles do not enter the nose and the eyes. Rats, snakes, spiders, lizards in the desert live in deep burrows during the daytime and are active only at the night. Okay, adaptation in forest and grassland animals. Now here in the picture you can see lion and black buck. Now if you see the carnivorous animals like the wild dog or the fox, tiger and lion, they have very strong legs to run fast and capture their prey. They have claws and their teeth are very sharp and pointed. Tigers have padded paws. So this helps them to silently stalk their prey and capture it easily. The eye of the predatory carnivores are located in front of the head. It helps them to spot their prey from a very long distance too. Now if you see the herbivores, the eyes of the herbivores like the black buck in the video, they are below the forehead on either side of the head. This gives them a wide angle vision which helps them to protect from the predators. Their legs are long and tapering with strong hooves which enables them to run fast taking long leaps. Their long and freely moving ears can receive sound from long distances and different directions. Now this is how they have adapted to the grass means they have adjusted to the forest and the grasslands. Snowy regions, okay, the white fur on the animals help them to hide from the other animals who would eat them. So this white color actually helps in camouflaging. Camouflage means to hide. And the thick layer of fur also acts like a protecting coat against the cold climate. This is how the polar bear or the other animals in the Arctic or the Antarctic regions adjust to the cold regions or the cold temperatures. Adaptation in reptiles. You must have seen how snakes and earthworms creep. Which organs do they use for creeping? Are there any special changes for that purpose? Animals like house, house lizard or it can be a crocodile, they use their muscles for creeping. Similarly, they show adaptations in skin, soles of feet, body color, etc. For example, the house lizard and the monitor lizards have clawed toes and thin soles whereas snakes they have a scaly skin so this is how they have adjusted okay some of them some of the reptiles can live in water as well as they can live in on the land as well so example tortoise now adaptation in aerial animals aerial means how they fly how which animals fly so birds basically now how can the birds fly if you look at the shape the spindle shaped body of birds it also reduces the resistance of air while flying so with hollow bones the bones are hollow okay so it makes the body very light and a body covering of feathers and modification of four legs into wings they don't have four legs means they don't have hands but they have those hands are modified into wings their body becomes very light in weight and this is these are main reasons how the actually the bird can fly the body of insects also is light in weight and it tapers at both the ends they can also fly with two pairs of wings and also walk with six stick like eggs legs 
bats can fly with the help of a patagium a thin fold of skin between their forelegs and hind legs so this is how the birds have adjusted to the flight mode flight mode means how they can fly preparation for food in animals now woodpeckers generally eat the wood boring insects but also love to eat the tree sap the berries or the seeds etc now butterfly if you see they suck the nectar from the flowers so this is how the adaptation for food in animals takes place we can categorize the animals as herbivores and carnivores special adaptation are seen in each category to make the process of feeding easy okay so this was all about the adaptation for food